Hello all, so since we completed the hardware design, now let's check whether it is really working or not. So for that we need to use the SDK also because he's the one who is going to send the image and also as usual uh, you need to uh, go to the same project where you have the block design because previously each time when you open a DCP Vivado he might have opened it in a new window. Okay, uh, So you need to come back to the original project where we created that block design and as usual uh, export hardware. No need to include the bitstream and just launch SDK. So we'll start a new application project. Let's call it PRS. Empty application, finish. Now the software that we are going to use is more or less same as the software used for image processing for displaying an image on VGA screen. Okay, it's the same software, but I have slightly modified it. I will show you. So I am importing it. So I will give you the source code. So you need to import it to your local SDK using the same step. So file system and uh, So you will have this software directory. So from the import, you need to import including this Linga script because we have modified the Linga script. Okay. So you say like yes, he's going to replace this Linga script with the Linga script I am providing because the heap size is uh, larger here for MLOP. Okay. So it's the more or less same. So it's good. Our image, it is in the form of a constant array. This is Lena grayscale. And uh, the difference I have made is previously, you were transferring the processed image only once uh, to a buffer. And we were just switching back between the original image and the processed image. But currently, since we will be dynamically changing the IP, the convolution part, each time you will have to send the image to our IP, get the processed image and display it back. Okay, so this part is additional. Previously only this was there and this image transferring part, it was outside the while loop. Now I have put it inside the while loop. That's the only difference. So the details of this code I have explained in that tutorial where we are interfacing with VGA. Okay, so now, as usual, we need to go to run, run configuration. Before that, let's program our FPGA. That we'll do from Vivado. So let's go to open target, auto connect, and program device. And you need to choose one of the full bitstream for programming. Okay, so when you're doing configuration for first time, you will have to choose one of the full bitstream, either config one, two, or three. Anything is fine. Okay, so let's choose config two, which I believe was sharpening. Okay, config two dot bit, and let's say program. And uh, yeah, now you can see the blue LED is turned on on Z board because we programmed it. Okay, so let's keep the Tara term opened. Come back to SDK, run, run configuration, and standalone, run post config. Remember to check it and choose the processor, apply, and run. So he will show these two options whether you want to see the original image or whether you want to see the processed image. Okay, so let's try to see the original image. Uh, this is the one, the original image of Lena. And now let me type two processed image. And this is a processed image. I don't know or on your monitor whether you can clearly see it because my camera is not great. These two images are different. So this was the original one and this is a sharpened one. Okay. You can see some transition is happening. Second image is more sharp than the previous one. Now let me do one thing. Let me change. Uh, only the convolution part using my partial bitstream. So I'm going back here. I'm again choosing program device 
and I am going to config one, which is our swabble operator, but I am not going to use this complete bitstream. I am going to change only the convolution part. So I am changing using this partial bitstream and OK and program. So few things we need to notice. You will see like it's very fast because the partial bitstream is very small and you will see like that uh, blue part it it just blinked okay for a second not even a second okay because the reconfiguration was very fast so we actually configured our ip with the new convolution portion now in the software part i don't have to relaunch it because my static part is still operational everything is still working only thing is I just replace that convolution part so he even doesn't have to know about it now let's see so this is the original image and when I type two now you will see like it's not sharpened it is our edge detection so our PR is working now let's go ahead and just change it to blur operation so config 3 Partial bit stream, okay. Program one, okay. So this is original. This is after average. Some blur of effects there. It will be clear when you are doing a end. Okay, so our PR is working. Uh, okay, so now let's come to our next issue so when you really use partial reconfiguration it doesn't make sense like you uh, reprogram that pr part from your computer through this jetta code okay that's not of very practical use what you may need is for example here i will have the option like which uh, filter i want to apply and i should be able to choose whether blur filter sobel filter or sharpen filter different kind of filter i will enter the choice through the keyboard here and based on that the fpga should be self reprogramming okay and we will be able to see the output so for doing that we will have to store our partial bitstream to our sg card first then we will have to reprogram the fpga from that sg card so how that is done is uh, entirely a different topic how FPGAs can be partially reconfigured again depending upon the kind of FPGA we have many different kind of interfaces we have interfaces like PCAP, MCAP, ICAP different kind of interfaces are there so we'll be first discussing about uh, so-called PCAP interface processor configuration access port which is used by your PS so this is a special interface inside the PS and using that interface you will be able to reprogram the FPGA part under software control. So that's what we will discuss in next tutorial. Thank you.